Hi guys, it's Misty here from Bookaholics Book Club and welcome to this week's In My Mailbox post. I don't know what number, so don't ask. Uh, here are the books that I got this week. First, actually, I want to show you a book that my son got. Uh, this is a Thomas book, Hide and Peep Thomas. Uh, he is crazy for Thomas. Um, and today we went to meet the Fat Controller who was at Smith's, which is like a toy store here. And he got this book and it's signed from the Fat Controller. So my son got his very first signed book. So I just wanted to show you that because he's really proud of that. <laughs> Uh, next are the books that I got. Um, the first one, is, I got one review book this week, but it's probably the most exciting book ever. It is Insurgent by Veronica Roth. This is the uh, follow-up to Divergent, which I read last year and it's so good. If you haven't read Divergent, you really should. Um, I've been waiting for Insurgent for ages. Uh, it's a dystopia book, so I think they're going to be a trilogy. I don't know. Uh, basically the first one, the satiety is split into five factions and when you come of age you pick which faction because you don't have to stay in the one with your parents, you can go live in another one. It follows this girl Triss and then obviously there's conspiracies and you know, stuff that happens in dystopia books but it is really really good. It's one of the best dystopias I've read so as you can imagine, I, this came this morning I nearly took off my first one's arm taking this off him because I was hoping that it would come today. So I will be reading that very soon. Uh, the next one I got in a swap. This is Drive By by Jim Carrington. I haven't really heard of this but it was the only one on a list that I was really interested in so I swapped my book for it. Uh, it's about some kids, I think they are in a hit and run and they tried to get away with it but obviously I guess someone knows or something yeah it, the thing you say is thinking of getting away with murder I think again so yeah I think they run someone over someone knows or something I don't know yeah uh, the next one I bought one book this week I bought Eve by Anna Carey uh, I did actually read this off of NetGalley last year and I've debated back and forth with it to buy it because I liked it but I didn't love it and I wasn't sure but it was like three pounds. Uh, this is the international edition which is code for cheap paperback that they send overseas so since it was just three pounds and I know that I'm going to read the, one, the next one so I'll be buying that so I got the first one to go with it in case I wanted to read it again or whatever. And the next three books, the last three books, these are all from Natalie Cleary. So thank you Natalie who always sends me books because she's so awesome. First off uh, she wrapped me Berserk by Michael Grant. Um, this was top of my wish list. I was going to get this soon. I really liked Gone and I've read the second book but I haven't read the next three now. So I'm going to read those but as soon as I heard what this was about I was dying to get this. And I nearly bought it once and then I didn't, so it was on top of my wish list to get. And then she just suddenly told me that she had ordered it. So obviously I am really excited. This is, um, I'm not even sure how to explain it. <laughs> Something to do with the nano, uh, the microscopic matrix where invisible armies determine the future of mankind. Sounds good. So it's, it's a lot of battles, but I guess they're tiny or they go tiny. I'm not sure. It sounds really good anyway. And uh, the next two. Um, I had an auction, you probably know about my book auction a couple of weeks ago. And Natalie bought some books in it that I sent to her. And when I told her they were sent, she asked me how much the postage was so that she could pay me back. But I refused to tell her because she sends me so many books I didn't want her to give me the money for my, the postage. So instead she went on my wish list and just bought me books instead. So, thank you again Natalie. Um, this is the Iron Thorn by Caitlin Kittredge. This one has been on my wish list for ages but it was the hardback that was like £10 so I never bought it because you know if I would like it. I think it's a a crossover of steampunk and dystopia and I wasn't that sure about it so I never ever got around to read buying it and then recently I found out there was a paperback so I switched that on my wish list to the paperback so that I could get it soon but then she it so now I finally have it and I can read it because it does sound good. I think the second one is out already but I can't remember what it's called. 
So, I'll give that a read when I can. And she also got me a little bit of a sky by Veronica Rossi, another one that I have wanted for ages. It was, I did get it off Net, NetGalley, but then I never end up reading them off NetGalley. I've actually stopped using it. Then the UK publishers were going to send me a copy when it never came, and then I've never got around to buying it. But now I have it, so I'm definitely going to use this soon. There's another dystopia. Is that four, five dystopias out of six? <laughs> I like dystopia. So yeah, so that's the last one. Um, on my reading pile for the next week, if you're interested in what reviews were coming up. Uh, last week I was reading the Need series, but I only read Need and Captivate, and then I put the series down to read, finish something else, and then I'm reading The Immortal Wars now. I am going to go back to those, but this week I'm going to finish The Immortal Wars, then I'm going to reread really Divergent, and then I'm going to read Insurgent. If I can manage to hold myself off, I could end up starting the insertion tomorrow because I really, really want to know what happens next. But that is my what I'm planning to read, and then after those, I'll go back the week after and read entire series. Yeah, finish that series off because I do like it, but there was just a bit of stuff that I really just wanted to read. So yeah, that's everything for this week. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye.